Welcome to IDB everyone, it is Andrew here. iOS 11.1 was released and it included the return of the infamous 3D Touch App Switcher. As a refresher or just for anyone who wasn't sure how it worked, we're going to go over how this really useful feature operates. Now there are two main things you can do with the app switcher or this 3D touch action is invoke the full app switcher itself which allows you to go back between all of your different open application or simply jump between your last used application. Both are invoked in nearly the same way with jumping to the previous app going from all the way left to right whereas the app switcher is only about halfway. To do it simply 3D touch on that left side of your display and push in going halfway across opens up the app switcher and going all the way across will simply slide over that previously used application. Of course, you can keep jumping back between the past two. You don't go from the right to go back. You don't kind of swipe to the left to the right and then right to the left to alternate. You simply keep swiping from left to right. This is a very easy and intuitive way to manage your applications. It's a lot easier to do it through gestures than it is to do it with the button. Of course, it's different on the iPhone 10, which has its own set of gestures that we'll cover in a separate video. This action is not replacing the standard way of moving between applications. You can still invoke it the traditional way by using the home button on the bottom of your iPhone. Double click that and it opens the app switcher. Of course, there's no way to go directly to your previous application using the home button, but it is still a very valid way to jump between your applications if you don't want to use this 3D touch gesture or if you happen to have a phone that does not support 3D touch. When iOS 11 removed this 3D touch app switcher, people were admittedly a little upset with Apple, so it is nice to see the return of this extremely useful and powerful feature. Let us know down in the comments how excited you are that this feature is back and what other things you'd like to see. Go ahead and click on that red subscribe button so you can keep videos like this coming. Otherwise, give us a thumbs up. And until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.